some entries. Okay, here. What did I say? One of the few piles that are available in Houston. It's not a pile friendly city. We were shot at earlier today and and he's been stabbed, I'm sorry to say. We're going across the nation and just looking at piles all over the place. Like that little like pile of stuff over there. Right? Yeah. So what's like the most interesting pile you've ever seen? It's not out here now. It's not? What was it? Over there at Morgan Chase when they bring out their trash. Uh -huh. It's humongous. It's like it's like eight feet tall, twenty feet long. 10 feet wide of boxes, law books, discoveries, and all that kind of stuff that they throw out. It's big, man. And if it's just cold out, you can just hurl your way right in there and just go to sleep. You don't have to worry about rats or anything. There's no food in there. You know, I'm talking about it's a cool pile, man. It's a pile of pictures. It's a special type of pile in that it is mobile. It's a pile. Her name is Mama. She's 15 years old. What's your favorite type of pile? I know this sounds crazy, but animal waste. But we have piles <laughs> <laughs> of animal waste. I think I like the consistent texture. Consistent texture? This is a pretty good pile. Seems to be composed primarily of what we in the industry call boards. They usually make up a lot of piles around this area, but None quite like this. Hold on. What was that in the distance? Oh my God! Let's move! Favorite type of pile? A pile of gold food. Oh. Watch out the door! <laughs> Sometimes I have to look through piles of stuff to find something. Do you prefer like a heterogeneous uh, mixture in your pile or a homogeneous mixture? Homogeneous. Homogeneous. Why would that be? Just because it's easier to sift through. It's not a fence. It's not a fence! This is a free pile! You know where everything is in that. A heterogeneous pile means that you gotta locate certain things in it, so. <laughs> the pile can be both a rough and so tender mistress. What is it? Its effects are quite evident, especially uh -oh. on the socks. It's, it's, it's a very old pile. So it's last stages. It's almost turning into a mountain or some sort of large rock. Very hard. How have piles fit into your guys' daily lives? Another. A dirtier, meatier one. Some asphalt. This was a road. Now. There's so many piles. So many piles, sir. So many piles. Feel the pile. The pile. Oh, man. I think there's a guy yelling at me. He's gonna yell at me for the piles. Sorry! We just like the piles. We like piles! Yeah! What? No, no good dope. The only other, other comment is that I don't have piles and I hope I don't ever get them. Most people don't realize that food often comes in pile form. Like this pile of curried rice, for example, or this pile of water. Water is not a pile. It's the exact non-definition of a pile. You can't pile it up because it's always there. It's just stupid, Jimmy. What is it? Jimmy! Andy! I do not feel that water deserves to be the name of a pile. Oh, but it fits your definition exactly, my friend. In its dynamic shot. nature, layered in every direction, there is no way to deny it. It is the truth. But Jimmy, 
A pile can never be unstacked. Water is always unstacked. What the fuck do you mean by unstacked? Bring it on! <clears throat> if you slow down time and you punched a cube of water, it would shatter. You could put the shatter pieces together and you have a pile. Pile. Piles. Up, we're making, we're filming a documentary about piles. Wow. <laughs> yeah. Wow. Yeah. Would you guys like to be in our documentary real quick? Huh? Would you like to be in our documentary real quick? I don't have time right now. <laughs> okay. What's your favorite type of pile? Real quick. Type of pile? Yeah, favorite type of pile. Money, Money pile. pile. This is a nice little game we like to play. We call it Pile No Pile. I haven't seen what's behind me yet. And when Andy says go, I'm gonna look around. I got three seconds to identify pile, not pile. If I fail, my life is forfeit. Go! No pile! No pile! Kick him, Tom. Ow! I love it! That's a Who would like to go next? I think the money influences me is, is the pile of paper I have on my desk after Sunday. I'm a pastor and I always have to write a whole bunch and destroy a bunch. And it's always just until after Sunday that I know piles of paper. But I know God bless you all. Oh my God! Get out, King! Get out! <laughs> limbs that I have to pick about the yard, <laughs> you know, I mean, after a windstorm. Well, I know on Monday morning you, we always have a pile of laundry. It's yeah. there, I don't care if you do it Friday, Saturday, or Sunday, you've got a pile of laundry and it's still there. So what was the question again? What? <laughs> <laughs> How have piles influenced your daily life? This is just a war. <laughs> this is worse than <laughs> yeah, college quiz. <laughs> Where am I? Heaven? <laughs> piles of work. Think of the piles of work on your desk. The paperwork you have to you deal with. Piles of paperwork. I'm tired of people giving me answers. <laughs> 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 well, well, piles of flowers, you have to rearrange. Yeah, your piles of flowers. No, that's not a good answer. I don't like that one. <laughs> Just skip over me. <laughs> oh, no. Come back to me <laughs> later. Come back to me later. This is incredible. Come on, we got our standard old piles here. It's old beats new. This is terrific. I think she got one. Oh, I think okay, you got one. I think the quick. piles and piles and piles of food at the Golden Corral <laughs> restaurant that we eat at every day. <laughs> oh, as I spill my French fries. Oh, no. <laughs> that's a good one. Well, that's a good answer. Well, thank you. We now know what happens when gravel stops being loose. Well, it's just like with, with piles of mail. Piles of limbs, you know, God gives us the knowledge and, and the wisdom and the ability to even to be able to, to do that work, throw that mail away, throw the right mail away, you know, and <clears throat> but anyway, I'm short through our piles. That's right. That's right. Amen. These things are gross, and so we decided to come to a national park to burn them for no reason. That's right. Stage two of the termination of these nasty pieces of shit is a heavy dose of spray paint. That's night pile that we've seen this far. But we don't know what's about it. Oh no. This pile may be fenced off. We can get a glimpse at it though. Yes, it's perfect. Tommy, you think you can mark it? Oh, they ain't so orange no more. Stage three is total annihilation. Thank you. Uh, yeah. Fire usually what? originates what? in pile what? form. This one's pretty good. Yeah. Somewhere over there. 